Francis Taylor traveled lightly as God's arrow leaves the bow moving outward through the journey past the others lying low you brought comfort to the fever fallen wounded in the war with a calm and loving presence in his soul could feel the glow by the light of our Lord so faithful and true there is no turning back we are guided by you through sunlight and shadow we always remain by the light of our Lord's caring flame. By the light of our Lord's caring flame. Francis Margaret Taylor, Mother Magdalene founded the Religious Congregation of the Poor Servants of the Mother of God in 1872. Her spirit and values form the thread which runs through all the works undertaken by the congregation. Frances Margaret Taylor was born on the 20th of January 1832 in Stoke Rochford, Lincolnshire, England. Her father was an Anglican clergyman and Frances was the youngest of ten children. Her happy country childhood came to an end in 1842 when her father died and the family moved to London. The poverty and the squalor of 19th century London came as a shock to Frances and her compassion moved her to work with the poor. In 1854, she went to the Crimea with Florence Nightingale's Lady Volunteer Nurses. The plight of the wounded soldiers, the faith of the young Irish men, and the dedication of the Irish Sisters of Mercy inspired her to become a Catholic. She was received into the Catholic Church on the 14th of April, 1855. On her return to London, she continued to work with the poor and also began writing. Her desire to work for and with the poor led her to found her own congregation in 1872. Frances took the name of Mother Magdalene and together with three companions began the work of the poor servants of the Mother of God. They responded to the needs of the time, working with the most vulnerable, especially women and children, and recognizing and valuing the dignity and worth of each person. Mother Magdalene died on the 9th of June, 1900. Today, the Congregation of the Poor Servants of the Mother of God continues the work begun by Francis in social, pastoral, health care, education and outreach work in the UK, Ireland, North America, East Africa and Italy. During the past century, the work has changed and the sisters have responded to the new situations which have arisen, but it is still carried out in the same spirit and according to the same values espoused by Francis Taylor. Mother Magdalene was declared venerable by Pope Francis on the 12th of June 2014. We now look forward to the day when we can celebrate her canonization to sainthood. By the light of our Lord, so faithful and true, there is no turning back, we are guided by you. Through 
sunlight and shadow We always remain By the light of our Lord's caring flame By the light of our Lord's 